So um, in the last two days, Monday and Tuesday, just gone, Industrial held a two day webinar on developing a strategy for the battery supply chain. Uh, the webinar was well attended by affiliates and there were some lively discussions. And I have asked our Assistant General Secretary at La Haya and Auto Director Georg Leutert to um, let us know a bit more about what was being discussed. So Atle, can you tell us about why is industrial developing a battery supply chain and why now? Well, in general, supply chains are taking up more and more of the production. Outsourcing and other kinds of leaving the job to their supply chain is increasing in, in volume. So we need to focus on supply chains and the battery supply chain, uh, the supply chain that will supply, amongst others, automobiles with the electric batteries, is the fastest growing supply chain in the world. It's taking on enormous proportions and we have to understand the supply chain. We have to understand how to use the leverage in the different part of the supply chain to help our workers organize through the supply chain, to help our unions grow stronger throughout the supply chain and to uh, gain uh, better wages and working conditions for workers all along the supply chain. And why now? Well, electric cars is more and more on the rise. Uh, it's exploding and many countries are now abandoning uh, uh, combustion engine cars uh, from 2030 and on, which means that batteries will be the really uh, hard thing to get. So the uh, supply is important. The demand isn't there yet. But we need to make sure that we use leverage that we can in this explosion to secure uh, better working conditions for all the workers in the supply chain. Yes, I mean, because um, we do represent workers along the entire supply chain. So at a glance, it might seem like an easy thing to organize along the supply chain, but I'm guessing that's not the case. Um, Geo, could you tell us a bit about what challenges uh, we have ahead of us? Yeah, well, I think we have challenges and opportunities. And I think the first thing is really an opportunity. I mean, to really realize that we have affiliates along the entire supply chain so from the mines to the cars <clears throat> or the energy sector, uh, we have affiliates everywhere, right? And now the challenge, of course, for us is, first of all, to bring all these company, all these uh, affiliates together because they're chemicals, they are metal, they are in the battery and, and more in the ICT area, they're in energy. So they're coming from very different uh, angles and we bring them together as industrial global union. This is what we do anyway, but it'll be a challenge to do this on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's, uh, let's be honest. Um, the other thing is uh, due diligence. I mean, human resource due diligence, that's what's happening now is um, mostly happens without workers and we want to raise the voice of the workers we want the voice of the workers to be heard but in order to do this of course we will have to train our affiliates because they don't as they were not involved most of them don't automatically fully understand what needs what needs to be done and also for us let's be honest it's a learning session it's a learning experience um, and I think this is another challenge, this training, um, and, um, and we'll go for it. And the last challenge, of course, is we want to do this all in kind of a partnership uh, with companies, uh, OEMs, I mean, the, the final, the, the car manufacturers, also with the suppliers, and we have some external partners. So bring them all together will also be quite a challenge. Okay. So Petra, I if I yeah. may... Uh, Due diligence legislation is coming. Uh, it has been coming for some years in some European countries. It's now coming in the European Union. It will really expand the possibilities we have to influence. And uh, the general public wants to know what happens, especially in consumer goods like cars. Where does their battery come from or the input from their battery come from? And with the demand from uh, public authorities on through legislation, this is really the time, as Georg said, to educate people, to get our people involved in the process so that we can actually influence what information comes out and whether or not it's good enough information and whether or not the information that comes out is acceptable enough for people to want to buy the product, which again gives the companies a reason to really look into their supply chain. 
Yeah. So can I just uh, sort of backtrack just a few seconds and say, because you said two words that is on everyone's uh, lips at the moment, and it's due diligence. So what is due diligence? It's uh, uh, a method of uh, finding out if your production leaves any risks for uh, impediment to uh, human rights, trade union rights anywhere in the supply chain. So a company will have to check every step on its supply chain to see if the companies involved pose any risk for harm of uh, trade union rights and human rights. And if they find that, they have to find a way to remedy, to fix the problem, or in the end, if that's not possible, to take their business elsewhere. But we, of course, want them to keep their business where it is and to improve conditions so that we don't lose out countries like DRC, Congo, uh, which has the biggest, biggest coal mine, uh, cobalt mines in the world. The Congolese mine workers need a decent working life just as much as we do, and we need to help them get it. Okay. Thank you. Um, so just um, a few words. So what are the next steps then? Well, the next steps are really um, to set up a pilot project. Um, the idea is to come to terms with one or two um, automotive uh, manufacturers. And we would then look at where are our, where are our affiliates, because we know they are along the supply chain, but then of course we would have to identify them directly uh, on the on the spot on the ground. Um, for this, uh, we'll need our affiliates. This is why we had the workshop, so they know what they gotta do and 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 what the what the tasks are going forward. Um, and then we will actually enter into practical due diligence uh, processes. And as I said, probably for the first time, we'll make sure that in this pilot, uh, the workers have a chance to raise their issues in those audits and, um, and whatever is happening. Uh, and then we will evaluate the whole thing and then we will see, and, but that's then for the future. So probably, I don't know, after 23, because this is a three years project, uh, to see what does this mean for us as an organization as a whole and how do we, what do we learn from it and how do we go forward? Okay. Thank you very much. Atle, do you want to add a few words or? Well, just to say that, of course, if this is going to be successful, we need our affiliates to understand the importance of it and we need them to get involved to help us find the map or map the supply chain, but also to help us get to the people that are in the supply chain.